Mission the Armory. Behind the facade of Lasky's bookstore lies a top secret bunker where information and equipment is disseminated from the shop. This location is owned and operated by Sam Gladstone, a cover operative for the shop for many years. Make contact with Sam and Hawk. Familiarize yourself on the upcoming mission and get moving. We're running out of time. Make contact with Sam. Equip yourself for your next mission. Excuse me. I'm looking for a back issue of Soldier of Fortune magazine, July 89. I think I can help you. Sounds like we have our work cut out for us. Three more nukes, each one in a hotbed of its own. What's first? Kosovo. A Serb faction there is fighting again. Just days after NATO peacekeepers left. I'm ready. Then get online. Let's see what the shop has for you. You know, I have it on the highest sort of graphical settings, and yet it still renders them all blocky and pixelated. Access granted. Mission information downloaded. I don't care who says it, this is the best sort of intro screen ever. Two Drake Randers. Classification eyes only. Subject Queen B. Email briefing. Congratulations on a job well done, Drake Randers. A radical Serb army faction resumed fighting again with the Kosovo Liberation Army last week, taking over a small town in the east. Though NATO has withdrawn, Russian peacekeepers remain in the region, making this a very delicate situation. Nuclear warhead number two, codenamed Queen Bee, is believed to be in Serb possession. Sources inside reveal NATO headquarters as a possible target. This is a grave situation as any nuclear confrontation with Serbia will inevitably involve the Russians, and they won't be on our side. If we don't recover Queen Bee, it could mean world war. Intelligence reports indicate the Serbs are transporting Queen Bee by way of an underground convoy in the city sewers. Neutralize the bomb and your pay is $20,000. Uh, wait, $20,000? Um, so basically, I'm a mercenary which gets paid $20,000 for a stolen nuclear warhead. I'd think I'd want a little bit more than that. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Uh, Soldier of Fortune basically allows you to choose any number of weapons and equipment. Um, you, always, you always have a combat knife on your person, as well as an additional variety of weapons. Um, let's go with the... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go... Most people usually choose the black, the, uh, Silver Talon 44 caliber for this fa this level, because there are a lot of, uh, uh, enemies running around with magnums, but because this is medium, technically I can carry as many weapons as I want, sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna carry... No, I'm not gonna carry... Actually, yes. Oh, I'm so horribly undecisive. <laughs> yeah, always. I'm always gonna pack our body armor. SMG. So I got nine mm pistol, shotgun, SMG. Uh, and before you know, the SMG isn't actually an SMG. It's more or less a sort of a fully automatic rifle carbine because it fires five, five, six millimeter rifle rounds. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Then you've got the Eagle Eye Snipe Rifle, the Combat Shotgun, which I've got, um, the Silver Talon Magnum, which we'll be getting soon enough, as well as the Black Panther 9mm handgun. And let's deploy. Uh, yes, confirm deployment. The NATO bombing has begun. Watch your step. See you at the pumping station. So why do I go with the 9mm pistol over the Magnum? Because it's John's signature weapon.
Also, that, yes. You do get the Magnum anyway, so... I just like packing the 9mm pistol as a backup. I mean, it's nice having the 44 Magnum as well, but sometimes it's necessary to carry something. Because the 44 Desert Eagle isn't exactly the... Uh, it's, it's not really that accurate at long range. Okay. Oh, and that sniper rifle disappeared. Great. Worst aim of my life. Let's use the uh, Raptor. Dance, dance for me. I mean, when you, um, whenever he does that sort of thing where he looks at the magazine, it's sort of, it's not the greatest thing to do because that would technically result in more weapon jams because of the risk of getting dust and other crap in there. Oof. Sorry, the controls are getting a bit... Yeah, sorry about that. The controls are getting a little iffy for some bizarre reason. Not quite sure why. Ow! Yeah, the control's getting a little weird. What? Come on. Sometimes it doesn't want me to go in a straight line. Yay, I can have some fun.
Well, I find this magnum pretty much everywhere, so I'm going to pick up the sniper rifle. Let's go with a shotgun. Yeah, it seems the controls actually want to go... They want to slide to the left or right. Serbian symbol on those crates. Okay, just excuse me for a moment there. Yeah, I was just going to change the, um, actually no, they don't, the effects volume sometimes oversaturates the music volume. So it can appear louder than what it is. for you too. He wants us to take out an artillery piece in the heart of the city. With your expertise, we can win back the town. Forget the capture stealth bomber you're going after. Bomber? Without any significant weapon, I promise you, it is useless to them. You scope out the location of this bomber. Queen B must already be on board. I'll take out the gun. Hurry, John! Yes, and you walk through that 2D looking pile of blood. Okay, switch to sniper rifle. Oh, apparently left mouse button is also run.
So yeah, you can use some of these guys as uh, improvised traps. Ow. That's an enemy tank. Whoa. Crates, all of the crates. Have a grenade. Well, I took that sniper out.
And there we go. On to the next level. Seems it's a little bit more quieter this time round. The hangar is heavily fortified. I have a diversion ready for when you get inside. Looks like I'll need it. Yeah, sometimes it seems it wants to go to the left or the right sometime on its own. I don't quite know why. Oh well. Sometimes trying to go sneaky in this game isn't exactly the best way. I suppose I should go loud. That's locked. Great. That's locked too. Great. We'll probably be coming back here anyway, so... Lovely. John, find the security station and unlock the helipad door. Go. Unnecessary civilian casualties. Is it really necessary to kill all those innocent civilians? Oh, that's why. Apparently holding down the use key while strafing left and right automatically leans for you. Bizarre. Apparently I'm sliding. And he's none the wiser. He pays it with a knife to the back of his head. Apparently I can't access this.
Well, I'm not going to use this sniper much anymore, so... Oh, apparently, I think this version's... Oh, no. That's odd. Yeah, for some reason, I think the um, Magnum sound, gunshot sound is bugged. I don't know why. It may be because it's a torrent. I don't know. Oh. Now it seems to be working fine. Probably see why you can probably see why I prefer using the nine millimeter somewhat because it's a lot more accurate. grenade in there or not yeah grenades are really really glitchy in this game <laughs> that's a bulletproof crate so can't get into that and now I have no armor great It's a nice addition that, when you lean out, John actually changes his uh, hand position. So, if he leans to the right, he changes to the left. If he leans to the left, he changes to the left. So I'll get my point. Go back over to right handed use. Oops. Have some C4. going hawk here come the reinforcements all of the goons good luck thanks Stupid thing, doesn't want to let me cross.